grace to you, and peace in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is a delight to bring you greetings on behalf of your sisters and brothers in Christ from coast to coast to coast that make up this part of the family of God that we know as the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. Thank you for choosing to participate in the ELCIC Praise Appeal and for your support of the work of the wider church. The theme for this year's Praise Appeal is Liberated by God's Cre Grace, Creation Not for Sale. From this year until 2017, we are joining Lutherans from around the world in commemorating the 500th anniversary of the Lutheran Reformation. Liberated by God's Grace is the anniversary theme being used by the Lutheran World Federation and by our church. Creation Not for Sale is one of the three sub-themes that we are using. I love these passages of scripture. The image from Isaiah of singing mountains and hills and clapping trees, and the image from Romans of the whole creation eagerly awaiting God's revelation, are pictures of a lively and vibrant creation that joins in singing praise to God and that joins in weeping for itself and for us in the midst of the brokenness that surrounds us. These images help us to reclaim an understanding of a creation that itself reflects the image of God. When we have that image clearly in front of us, when we have that understanding in our heads and in our hearts, how can we do anything but confess the misuse of our world and repent and change our ways and treat the creation with reverence and respect? Unfortunately, we all struggle with trusting God's promises of provision for our needs. Isaiah calls us to come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. But I wouldn't advise you to go and try and redeem that coupon at your local grocery store. Jesus challenges us, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. But try telling that to your hungry family when you sit down at the table for supper. We live in a society that is based on a consumer culture and on a commitment to growing profits. How can we re reconcile the challenges from Jesus and Isaiah with our experience in our daily lives? Of course, Jesus and Isaiah were trying to challenge their hearers and us to keep our focus on living the way of God. And it is sometimes hard to keep that focus, to live as true disciples, when there are so many loud voices calling us in different directions to worry about what we eat, to worry about what we wear, to buy the newest and the most fashionable. That's why as a church, we are trying to live out a call to spiritual renewal, to help us in our spiritual practices keep our eyes on the prize, God's prize, and not be so overwhelmed by other competing voices, to work on how we live out our lives as Christians in all parts of our life. In terms of your daily life, how can you keep a vision before you that creation, this wonderful gift from God, is not for sale. Creation is a gift to be treasured, not just a commodity to be exploited. What if you considered more closely that creation is not for sale as you go shopping? Prepare meals, use water, travel to work or school. What difference would it make to your congregation and the way that it carries out its ministry? Are you one of the 16 congregations accredited as greening congregations in the ELCIC Stewardship of Creation program? Is that something that you could consider? I have serious concerns for the future of our created order. One of the ways I express my concern is by fasting for the climate on the first day of every month. 
it's a way for me to be both spiritually and physically mindful of both the gift of creation we have received from God and my responsibility as one of the people charged with the stewardship of this gift. My hunger as I fast underlines the abundant lifestyle that I am used to, at least in comparison to the majority of people around the world. That I am able to take my next meal for granted. I distract myself from my hunger by going for a walk. Being in the beauty of creation allows me to appreciate this good gift we have received. In contrast, I remember the places that I have been in Canada and around the world where our human greed has devastated the land, damaging ecosystems and endangering the people who live nearby. Despite the many challenges we face, we know that in the end it is God's world and that we are part of God's church. We do not know for sure how things are going to turn out, but we know that with God they will be good. As faithful people committed to living out our discipleship, as those who have been liberated by God's grace, we know that with God we will be blessed and that with God's help we will be a blessing to others. Through your gift to the praise appeal, you join with the whole creation in praising God. You are a blessing as you help the ELCIC National Church live out this call through our partnerships with Kairos and the Anglican Church of Canada as we work in the areas of homelessness and affordable housing and responsible resource extraction. Our partnership with the Lutheran World Federation and Canadian Lutheran World Relief as we work to support refugees and internally displaced people around the world. Our partnership with the churches in Argentina and Peru as we help support ministry in indigenous communities within these churches. Continuing the call to spiritual renewal, working to deepen the discipleship of all our members and learning new ways to reach out in faith to those around us. Building better relationships with other denominations and faiths here in Canada through the Canadian Council of Churches and around the world through the World Council of Churches. Individuals and congregations are encouraged to give generously to support the ELCIC Praise Appeal, which is a significant source of revenue for our church. Thank you for your commitment to deepening your discipleship and being spiritually renewed. Thank you for the ways you work to care for God's gift of creation. Thank you for your support of our collective work in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. Thank you for your support and participation in this praise appeal. May God bless and strengthen your ministry, both individually and together. Amen. <laughs>